Hello everyone, welcome back to another Kinetic Tutoring episode. Today we're looking at a um, today we're looking at another AP Physics C um, AP test problem, so let's get straight into it. A small dart of mass 0 0.020 kilograms is launched at an angle of 30 degrees above the horizontal with an initial speed of 10 meters per second. The moment it reaches a highest point in the path and, and is moving horizontally, it collides and sticks to a wooden block of mass 0.1 kilograms that is suspended at the end of a massless string. The center of the of mass of the block is 1.2 meters below the pivot of the string. The block and dart then swing up until the string makes an angle theta with the vertical as shown above. Air resistance is negligible. And so here it wants us to determine the speed of the dart just before it hits the block. So as we can see here, the horizontal and vertical components of of the velocity add up to 10 meters per second. So here we have 10 and here we have 30 degrees. So this the the vertical is 10 sine 30. The horizontal is 10 cosine 30. And as as the trajectory changes this gets smaller and smaller, but this stays constant. So the horizontal speed, because there's no air resistance, is going to remain 10 cosine 30 until it is the only speed left. So at the end, the speed is just going to be 10 cosine 30 because it's moving horizontally. Cosine of 30 degrees is root 3 over 2. So 10 times cosine root 30 degrees is going to be 5 root 2. And that's in terms of meters per second. There you have it. That's the speed. Calculate the horizontal distance d between the launching point of the dart and the point directly and a point on the floor directly below the block. All right, so let's do that. We know that our horizontal component of gravity, our horizontal velocity is 10 sine 30. Sine 30 is 1 half, so our initial velocity is just 5. So we know that v final is equal to v initial plus a t and our v final is going to be zero because our our vertical velocity is going to have become zero our v initial is going to be five plus a t which is minus ten t so t becomes half a second And then since we know that our velocity is 5 root 2, our distance is going to be 5 root 2 divided by 2. There you have that. There's your distance in meters. So that's the problem for, that's the, that's what it is for part B. Part C is asking us to calculate the speed of the block just after the dart strikes. So for here, we're going to use conservation of momentum. So we have 0 0.02, which is our mass, times our velocity, which is 5 root 2. And then we have the mass of this plus the mass of the, the block, which is 0.1. So we'll get is equal to 0 0.1, 0 0.12 times our new velocity. And when we get this, we'll get 0 0.02 divided by 0 0.12 is 1 sixth. So we get 5 root 2 over 6 is our new velocity. And it says calculate the angle theta through which the dart and block will the dart and block on the string will rise before coming momentarily to rest. All right. So it wants to know how long before all of this all of this kinetic energy is turned into kinetic energy. So from here, we can just use our energy. So we have 1 half mv squared is equal to mgh. Our m's cancel out. This squared is going to be 50 over 36 times 2 is, or divide by 2 is 50 over 72. Divided by h will give us 50 over 720 or 5 over 72. 
so our h is 5 over 72 meters there you go and from here we want to find the angle theta and in order to do this we know that the length of the string is 1.2 and the the horizontal or the vertical component is going to be 1.2 minus 5 over 72 so I'm gonna grab my calculator for that because that's not math that I can do in my head one point two minus five divided by seventy two is going to give us one point one three roughly and now we want to find the cosine of one point one three divided by one point one one point two So this will give us, sorry, I think I may have done, done something wrong, um, but we're going to find the cosine since, since this is the opposite and this is the, this is the opposite and this is the hypotenuse it'll be 1.13 over 1.2 either the cosine or the arc cosine of this will be your answer for the angle let me just try to plug it into my calculator again it was probably in the wrong mode Alright, so there you go, you get somewhere around 20 degrees, 19.9, 19.6, so 19.6 degrees is your angle theta. My mistake was doing cos pressing cosine accidentally instead of arc cosine. Alright, so let's take, the block then continues to swing as a simple pendulum, calculate the time between the dart when the dart collides with when the block first returns to its original position so from here we know that we can just find our um, we can use our simple pendulum equation where we know that alright actually I'm gonna write it all out I alpha is equal to mgl sine theta and from here, alpha is equal to mgl over ml squared. We can assume that theta, sine theta is just theta. Boom, 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 boom. So alpha is going to be g over g over l. And so our omega is going to be, or sorry, rather our period is going to be T is going to be 2 pi root L over G and the, our period is the time for one revolution but we only want we only want it for half a revolution it's just going to be pi times root L over G and our L is 1.2 our G is 10 so we'll get root 0.12 times pi is our that is the time that it's going to take let's take a look at f in a second experiment a dart with more mass is launched at the same speed and same angle would the angle increase yes it would increase because there's more momentum 
and when there's more momentum before the collision there's going to be more mo momentum after the collision and when there's more momentum more velocity it's going to swing even further up meaning that the angle theta is going to increase but the time of oscillation is going to stay the same because as we saw here it had to do with length and gravity and it did not have to do with mass so therefore that will not play a factor and yeah that's how you would solve that um, sorry for the confusion in the midst of the video and hopefully that helped you guys uh, if there's anything else I can help with or if there's any questions comments leave them down below and I'll catch you guys next time